Now, stories of baby theft have been told over many times, but this one may make you cringe. Two women on a journey to get a living and visit a family friend have been hit hard by the unfortunate incident. We've been telling you that story since yesterday. Agnes Dazi lost her two-month-old baby to a stranger who ran away with a little girl, and they've still not heard anything from them. Join us is uh, Benis Abubedu has been speaking to her. I'm from Machima Kroso. My in-law is a shaman. A week ago, I told her I would be coming over because life in the village was becoming hard. A weeping and shaking Agnes Dazi, recounting what led to her baby getting missing. Though not a first visit to Accra, her purpose this time was to earn a living and bring her baby to her in-law who's never seen her. She managed to convince her best friend, Charity Dunyo, who has twin babies, to come along. Everything was going according to plan until this. I called my brother to tell him we had arrived at Circle. He said his boss had sent him on an errand, so after he would come. Just then, a woman passed by, smiling at us. I drew my friend's attention, and she said the lady saw her twin babies and may have liked them. She passed by and came back later to take the elders of my friend's twins. My friend told me she was hungry, and if my brother had arrived, we would have gotten something to eat. The lady had us and offered us lunch at the Las Palmas restaurant. When we got there, she said I was sitting under the fun and that wasn't good for the baby. She took her and gave me my friends. She later said she was going to get credit. I told her not to go with my child, but she said she was not a bad person and would be back soon. I went out and saw her coming back with my daughter, so I decided to go and sit and wait for her. She never came back. I ran out and asked of her, and someone told me she had headed to the real when I went to the police station, they asked us to go to radio stations. But why would these two mothers give their babies to a complete stranger? The way she came back, took my friend's baby, held for a long time and gave it back to her, I didn't expect this. <laughs> when you're a mother, people see your children, befriend them, and want to hold them. It's normal. Agnes's friend remembers with a lot of pain her brother's caution to her ahead of the trip, which in hindsight sounds like a prophecy. <laughs> My brother advised me before we came to be mindful of where we were coming and not to give my child to anyone. I told my friend also not to. When asked if they could identify the woman, all they could do was give a description because they never asked of the woman's name. We made a mistake by not asking her name. She is chocolate in complexion, slightly tall and plump. She has braids. Throughout this interview, Akosia Dazi has a hand placed on her abdomen as she calls out her daughter's name intermittently. She can only hope and wait for positive news from the police. For Joy News, Benis. Very sad uh, time for her.